In this video, I'm going to show you how to make T-scores. T-scores, as I write in the textbook, are standardized scores with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. So the example is the sleep data, and I've looked at these data several times now, and the steps involved with calculating T-scores is to first convert the data, the raw scores, into Z-scores, and then you have to manipulate it by creating a little formula to create the mean of 50 and the standard deviation of 10. So the first thing is we need to convert these scores into Z scores and click on Save Standardize Values as a variable and SPSS does so. And so now I've got these Z scores and let's just look at the distribution of that in a, in a chart put these Z scores because I'll show you the difference. So here we have a histogram with a mixture of negative and positive values. Let's see here. I would just want to change the scale to negative 3 to positive 3. There we go. So you can see that with the Z scores, which are fantastic standardized scores, very useful, but we also have a bunch of negative values here and we have positive values. Now the advantage of the T-score is that it doesn't have any negative values. So to create the T-scores, I go into Compute and I'm going to call it Sleep T-scores. And I want to add 50 and then I want to multiply the current Z-scores by 10. And that is going to create a T-score with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. So let's click on OK to prove that that is the case. So here are my T-scores and notice how I've got no negative values anymore. And let's look at this in a histogram. Whoops, get rid of this. And here we go. Click OK. And here are my data with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. I actually don't have the means there. Let's click on the mean and the standard deviation. Click continue or click OK. There we go. Here's the mean of 50 and the standard deviation of 10. And now I've got a distribution of scores with no positive values. And then kind of as a joke, I mentioned in the textbook that you can create IQ scores out of sleeping scores. And this could, you know, quote unquote IQ scores. And this is just another standardized score. And I could compute sleep IQ scores. And that's because many IQ scores from tests have a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. And I literally just have to change what I'm summing from and the product of the sleep Z scores and 15. Click on OK. And then I'm going to analyze those data that was created as a new variable sleep IQ scores and click OK and here I've got a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15 and this is a distribution of sleep IQ scores again no negative scores so this is me demonstrating how to calculate T scores you could do it in any program 